Hello YouTube and welcome fellow knife enthusiast. Today, today we have a knife from Blade HQ. Now I saw they had these back in stock. This, this is something I wanted to grab last year, but they sold out of them. And uh, they go for quite a bit more on the secondhand market and uh really don't see them a whole lot but it was a big rave about a year ago I uh, haven't bought a whole lot of knives this past year but luckily all the knives I wanted are still out there for the most part, uh, I guess Blade HQ puts a bunch of this crap in the box with it. But, got my first Microtech. Now some people might argue, that's pretty cool. I have to put that sticker up with my other stickers. And clean up all these bubble popper things, whatever these are, uh, corn puffs, so if you've been wanting one of these, Blade HQ does have them in stock, usually don't do first impressions, but I thought I Go ahead and do a first impression on this. So we have a titanium handle, V-Blast standard, blue titanium pivot collar, carbon fiber scales, and whatever all that means. But the SOCOM Bravo. Really cool box from Microtech. Hopefully I get a Microtech sticker in here. Doesn't look like we do. Uh, the heck? Sure, what that crap? Uh, it looks like we have a little book. All right, I do get a Microtech sticker. Spend three hundred and fifty bucks on a knife. At least they can give you a sticker, right? Uh, just gonna be some features of the knife. It looks like. And here it is. Really. You know, not quite as heavy as I thought, but it is definitely a heavy knife. Has a full titanium backspacer. Lots of titanium. Nice looking carbon fiber. Saw in some reviews. Some people were complaining about the pocket clip, but I'll tell you what, I don't hate it. Now let's try out try out the action on it and yeah, the action did did not disappoint at all. Holy crap. That thing flings out. Awesome, awesome action. Very happy with the action on it. So it looks like we do have a A lot of badging on the knife. SN must be the serial number. Then it says SOCOM Bravo Microtech. And then 4 of 2023. And then the blade steel on it is going to be M390. Really, really soft edges. Really nothing sharp anywhere on this knife besides a blade itself. Which it feels uh, decently sharp. I'll get a piece of paper here in a minute. Really, really smooth on the drop. 
but the reverse flick, very satisfying. Exactly what I was hoping for. Drop shut. Oh man, that comes out with some force. So I know I haven't been making a bunch of knife videos. I haven't been purchasing a bunch of knives this year. Uh, I do have some knives I want to get, just like this one. I mean, this been on my list ever since it was released. Uh, I really like the Tano variation. They have both available. I almost got the Tano variation. I was really torn between them. I really like this spear point too. Huge knife. So all the badging's on the front side. Not much badging anywhere else. Oh, of course I hit the box. It's a huge knife. I uh, just do a size comparison, I guess. Uh, uh, here's a Civivi Elementum. Dwarfs it. Of course, Civivi Elementum's not a large knife. Then we have a uh, Ontario Rat, which is about the same size as a Civivi Elementum, which it just dwarfs. So these are like medium-sized knives. I I wouldn't say they're small, but they're definitely not a large knife. Let's see what else we got. Devo Buzz, I think it's called. Let's see, it's a lot smaller. Oh, let's compare it to something worthy of comparing it to. How about the Goliath? Now, the Goliath is definitely larger. Actually, quite a bit. I, But, of course, it is a Goliath of a knife. So, that's funny. There's, there's a size comparison to actually make this look smaller, reasonable. But this, this is definitely... This is a huge... This... This is bigger than most uh, straight blades, so huge knife. Awesome action, too. I think you can still get these for about 135 all different variations of it, even carbon fiber and stuff. What's the blade still on it? There, it says Goliath right on it. K110. I think they have different variations of it too. How about one of my favorite knives? The damn designs. Man, this thing, the Ergo's on it, just absolutely amazing. And you can see it's quite a bit larger. Kind of hard to line up the pivots. There we go. This became kind of a hard knife to get to by damn design. You can find other ones, and I think you can find the G10 variation, but this particular variation with this blade steel, well, this one has 14C28N. I think they have a K110, though, or something. I don't know. How about against uh, Ferrum Forge Archbishop? Pretty large knife if you ever had one. And you can see it's quite a bit larger than that. Or how about a Demko? 80-20.5. Definitely makes the Demko look like a small knife. 
course, this one has the aftermarket goat scales, skiff bearings, lunch clip. It's all decked out. Pretty much as decked out as you could get one before they release a titanium variation. So, just a size comparison on some other large folding knives I have. Man, that action on this does not disappoint at all, though. Huh. Keep messing up with the thumb, but it does rock it out there with the thumb. Walk up is almost 50%. Probably like to have seen it a hair less, so it would have had a little bit more break in, but probably not going to be a knife I carry on me or use a lot. Definitely a knife for the knife collection. Just one I really like the design and shape of, but. That's all I have to show you today. Sorry I haven't been posting videos. Uh, I had a bunch of problems with my phone. Haven't been really buying knives. I did buy one on my birthday on June 21st. I'll, I'll be showing. I'll have a video on it. It's just a cheap everyday carry work knife. Uh, and I, I did purchase like a couple other knives. I've been meaning to make videos on. I still did do a giveaway on this but unfortunately I lost all the information off my old cell phone so uh, I only record these videos on my cell phones so in my next video uh, I'll tell you how to enter in the giveaway for this six leaf knife and we'll go ahead and do the giveaway I'll go ahead and try and get some other videos out but uh, it's a pretty large knife itself absolutely love the blade shape and everything on this but anyways i'll have all that information on the next video how to enter in the giveaway for this and uh we're going to try and hurry up and get that done i had already picked out a winner and i was meaning to make a video uh after the last night video i made but uh, unfortunately i had some cell phone problems and I had to get a new cell phone. It took a while. I had charging issues and just all kinds of different issues. Uh, but getting all that stuff straightened out now. So, if you like uh, knife content, make sure and hit the subscribe button. Check out my prior videos. And uh, like always, have an awesome day.